For this pregnancy, one of the things that I really wanted to do was try some body art that looked like a portal. I designed this a while ago and I made it available on the blog, so anyone who wants to recreate it, it's very, very easy. Just cut out the inside. You don't necessarily want to cut out the part along the rope just because it will get too flimsy, so leave a larger part of card, transfer it, and then you can always follow it on around the edge once it's transferred. And there's a few other different ways that you could cut this out to make it an easier, what's the word I'm looking for, stencil. <laughs> I'm going to just outline it and then freehand the rest. If you don't want to do that, that's what the downloadable stencil is for and you can just take that, cut all the little pieces out and then transfer that directly onto your stomach. Whenever you're trying to paint things like space, don't go straight for the black paint. That is not the way you want to do it. Instead, go for the colors which are a little bit more in the middle ground. Go for blue, go for purple, but don't go for the darkest color in your palette. You want to add that later because otherwise it's far too easy to mess up. And it's much harder to remove a dark color than to remove a lighter one. So start off with the lighter colors. In this case, I'm going to be using quite a dark blue. I'm going to outline everything, fill it up, and then the areas where I want to put another color, I'm going to blend that out so that there aren't any harsh lines. You can use a paintbrush for this, or you can use a cotton bud, whichever one works for you. I'm going to alternate between the two, but like I said, just use the tool that works better for you. After that, I'm going to move on to the pink and all those areas where you can see I haven't really filled them in with blue, that's where I'm going to apply them. At first, I'm just going to be messy. All I'm looking to do is to get that paint down and then I'm going to be blending it out into the blue. Take your time for this. The more you can blend things, especially when it comes to paint scenes, the better it's going to look later on. So no harsh lines and everything cloudy and blended. turquoise is where I'm going to start having a little bit more fun. If you can, try and use a brush which is a little bit messed up and has bristles which stick out in all directions. It's going to make it a lot easier to get a very nice texture and especially if you layer this over the pink, it's just going to make it a lot more interesting to look at. So while you don't want any harsh lines, you can get something which is a little bit more in the middle and the easiest way to achieve this is by just getting an old brush that maybe can't get perfectly neat lines but will make a very nice looking texture without you having to work too hard for it. Before I move on to painting the space baby, I'm going to be mixing that very bright pink, a little bit of the blue, and then a tiny, tiny bit of black just around the edges so that everything can start getting a little bit darker. With adding things which are darker onto a space scene, you want to do it very slowly and gradually, and that way you're going to get some very, very interesting patterns without having to freak out and think, oh no, I've messed up. Just do it slowly, start off in the middle, and then gradually add the darker colors. reflection in the helmet the first thing you want to do is use a little bit of that color that I've mixed together so it's going to be a mixture of that blue and that bright pink do that in a circle and then right in the middle we're going to put that very very bright pink and now what you need to do is as that goes out it's going to get darker and darker so the next color I'm going to start applying is the blue and then around the edge I'm going to be applying a much darker mixture of the blue and then a little bit of black to make it look like it is actually reflecting space
Now that I've done all the other colors, this is the part where you want to move in with the black. At first, just do a very thin line around the astronaut. I'm going to make it a lot thicker on the right hand side because the idea being behind this is that there's going to be more light on the left hand side and then less on the right. So to try and make it look as photorealistic as possible, you want to pick a side which is going to be a little bit more exposed to the light and another side which is going to look like it's less exposed to the light. So apply some of that black a little bit more there. finish it off I want to make it look like the edge of the portal window is actually coming out of my skin if I was going to be doing this a lot more realistically I would have a look at my own skin tone and have a look at the darkest color that I naturally get at this time of year to be honest I don't have the pencil for this at the moment so I ended up using the gray but the easiest way for you to check this is you want to look at an area of your skin which gets exposed to the sun quite a lot so have a look at your forearms the skin on your face that kind of thing and then get a color which is as close to that as possible and you're going to get an effect which is going to look a lot more realistic for the final part of the highlighting what I'm going to do is take some white I'm going to be applying this on the top left hand side and on the bottom right hand side leave the areas in between just free and don't worry about being too precise at this point just put the color down and then blend that out you can either use your fingers or a cotton bud I'm going to use a cotton bud at this point and keep layering it until it starts to look like the skin is actually raised from your belly and that there's an actual highlight there and it's not just paint painted onto your skin keep doing this and the main point is just to keep the edges as blended as possible once I've done that then I'm going to add the proper highlights I'll do this around the bolts and then I'm going to do this on what would be the edge of the portal window take your time for this make sure that it's neat and then once you've done that you should be done Once you finish this, if you want to photograph it, try and make sure that you photograph it from the angle that you're looking down. Because if you look at it from the point of view of someone standing in front of you, it's going to look very strange and stretched out. But that's because you've been painting it from your point of view. So try and take it from above, try and get the light a little bit low so that all those colors come out and it should look beautiful. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content, and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos, and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner, you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done.